In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can take a snapshot of a video and then save it as a JPEG to your hard drive. So um, you can do this two ways, actually. Uh, the first way is in the mixing screen here. I can scroll through and find where I want the image, uh, where I want the snapshot. So let's say I want a snapshot there of uh, the girl and the baby. Once I'm happy with that, what it's in, what, what the image that's in the video output screen, I can just click on the Take a Snapshot button. And once I click on this button, you'll see the Save icon beside it has become live. Um, so once I've t clicked on the Take the Snapshot, then I'll click on the Save button. And here I'm actually able to save the file anywhere I want. So I could pick my Documents, Desktop, anywhere you want on your hard drive. Here I'll just select my Desktop and I'll call it baby photo one and click save and there it is it's saved and and you can see it in the automatically in the media browser that baby photo one is in there now I can actually then view that in my default player which I'm using a Picasa and click on play default player and you'll see the image comes up in Picasso. Now you'll see it's only 320 by 240 because that in the mixing screen that's what's displayed in the video output screen until uh, it is outputted in the target frame size. So you might want it bigger so uh, you might want it actually in the um, in the size that the video is created in because this video is a 1280 by 720 video. So what I can do is I can click on uh, the right click on the file and select view in view file in browser and there we go the file is then shown and grayed in the media browser and uh, what I can do is I can just right click on it and select play and then I can just use the controls to go to a certain area if I know it is there but I'll just click on play and there I can actually just go back click play and click stop so now let's say I want to take an image of this now the, when the file is played in the media browser and in the video output screen it shows it um, without any compression it shows exactly the way it's played so um, here I'll just take an image I'll just maybe just go back a little bit click play so there we are the baby and the girl again so this is where I wanted to uh, this is the snapshot I want to take so I click take a snapshot click save and then I'll click call it baby original size and click save so there's baby original size now found in my desktop again because I just saved it to my desktop again and then when I click play in default player you'll see the image is now the exact size it was created in so that's two ways you can do it. You can do it through the media browser to get the original size photo or you can get it at 320 by 240 by playing it in the mixing screen. So uh, really a sum up is just find the image either in the media browser or on the mixing screen, pause it where you want it to be, click on the take a snapshot and then click on the save snapshot. So if I just save that again quickly, baby two, and then play it in the default player you'll see that image there is the exact image there so if you preview your file in the media browser it'll be the original size it was created in and if you do it through the mixing screen it will be at 322 by 240 so probably if you wanted a good size probably do it through the media browser uh, I hope that helps, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Best regards. Bye-bye.